It is April the 1st. Um, here and it's still cold. It's still cold here. I'm definitely not used to that. It being cold in April, knowing I'm from Texas and it's it's warm now. It's quite comfortable. So I'm missing the co the not cold. Oof. I'm missing the warmth of the South. Um, but positive points I got. Wi-Fi in my apartment finally woohoo I do not have to go to the coffee shop to sit there all night and work or watch Netflix or edit videos I can sit in the comfort of my own little space and work on stuff and I got my ARC card which is also very helpful so when I want to go out of the country I have it also, I may look tired. I am tired, which is strange because yesterday was Sunday. When I came home from church, I took a nap, good nap. I woke up, did a little shopping or whatever, and then I went back to sleep. But I woke up, I was tired. I think it's just from talking loud all day. Um, How do I feel? I feel... Mm, a little frustrated, I guess. Well, not frustrated, but yeah, frustrated, but more irritated. Yes, that's the word. So I feel irritated because, oof, this language thing, man. Like, I get dis not discouraged, but yeah, irritated and frustrated because simple things that I know how to do I really can't do here and it's like I need someone to help me so it's kind of like oh my goodness you know for example I bought a bed frame off of G market and I still do not have it and I bought that bed frame uh, March the 8th it's going on a new month and I still do not have the bed frame so I just kind of was like, you know what, forget it. I'm going to cancel it, not worry about it, and I'll just tough it out. And so I went online trying to cancel the bed frame <clears throat> that I still do not have. And the website was down. And then today at work, I tried to cancel it again. And all of a sudden, the website is showing that, oh, your bed frame has been delivered, which is not true because I still have to pay the delivery fee. So I know the bed is not delivered. I didn't receive a phone call. And then like when I tried to call the company and tell them, hey, you know, they're saying that the bed is delivered and it's not delivered. You know, I couldn't even talk to them in English. So I had to get my coworker to talk to them in Korean and then they're like, oh, well, we're gonna check the department, the furniture department, and then we'll call you back. Well, when you call me back, I'm gonna be off of work. I'm not gonna be near a Korean speaker because I'm gonna be at home. So then that's a whole nother issue. So stuff like that, small stuff, is big and frustrating and it just takes a lot of energy. Um, finding food that I like. Um, I've learned that I am a picky eater, which I didn't think I was, but you know, being so far from home, all I really have are my English speaking friends, um, and food. That's like, that reminds me of home where I feel like, okay, this is part of my home, speaking English and being able to enjoy a pizza or, you know, a salad. So it's like I'm constantly on the hunt for trying to find those things that remind me of home, like food, you know, because I don't like my garlic bread sweet, Korea. Uh, so, you know, those things, sometimes I'm so hungry, but I'm so tired, so I'll just go home and not eat because it's a job for me to find something to eat because I'm not a fan of kimchi, which I already knew, but... Um, I guess I just kind of wanted to do an update of today. It's not much. I said I wanted to keep the 
the blogs, the videos as authentic and real for the next person that comes. Everybody's experience is different. I'm not having a bad experience, for sure. I'm not gonna say that, but I just wanna share some of my frustrations or things that are bothering me um, so far since I've been in Korea for a month. And then I'm thinking about doing another video, which I will do soon, I don't know when, about why I came to Korea, because um, I've had people ask me why did I decide to come to Korea, and you know, um, I mean, it's a good video to share. I mean, everybody comes here for different reasons, so I will be uploading that soon, and stay tuned. If you haven't, find me on Instagram. I am a photographer, so, you know, follow me and keep up with what I'm doing in Korea. I, I try to post as much as I can when I see something that um, catches my eye. So, that's it for this vlog.